My hands are cold. Here, you should try these mittens. Wow, these are nifty. Are you a little ashamed? <laughs> Not even a little bit. Ah! Whoa! Are you serious? <laughs> Mind blown. I need idea. <laughs> I'm dumb. Deli hard. We get to the game, please. Ah! Funny. The Leafs win 3-2 over the Tampa Bay Lightning. The amazingly strong, one of the top teams in the East and League Tampa Bay Lightning. The still great, even without Steven Stamkos, Tampa Bay Lightning. And we shall talk about the Tampa Bay Lightning. But Foist, Nazem, Nifty Mittens, Nazem. First goal with snipage. The second goal, <laughs> Sometimes when Kadri gets the puck, it's like the hockey gods just go, hey guys, look at this. Nazem Kadri's hands are on cheat code level. Kadri's name should be spelled up, down, X, Y, right bumper. Kadri's hands are so nifty that when he was born, he signed his own birth certificate. And once the defenseman was conquered, Kadri then beat Ben Bishop. Because in this game, what is a bishop to a king? And here is the magical life that NHL players lead. Fans in attendance and watching on screens around the world go, oh my god, did he just do that? But Kadri gets to go, oh wow! Did I just do that? I love when the player looks surprised with what they did. Holy sh- I mean, yeah, yeah, I meant to- yeah. Just like I practice it. It's called hard work and perseverance, kids. And I talk about a lot of numbers and advanced stats and stuff like that. Those are just predictive. In a way, you can think of them as odds. Odds on sports betting are predictive. When the odds are against a team and they win, it's a surprise. A pleasant surprise. And we live for those moments. The unexpected. And sometimes, the unexpected works against the teams that you cheer for. But you live for the moments that they go in your favor. Moments that make you stand up, make you stop what you're doing. And holy crap, is that second Kadri goal one of those moments? Same with that dirty dangle he did on Yamelon to set up France, and this boy's on fire. What slump? And we had another one of those moments in this game. Jonathan Bernier. Jonathan Bernier. Do we have any doubts that Martin St. Louis is a Hall of Famer? If he's not a first ballot Hall of Famer, I'm gonna be pissed. And the look on his face face with that save and the vacant stare in his eyes on the bench where he just goes I got robbed. The look in his eyes says he was still in that moment. Bernier slides across, makes the amazing save, opens his glove to reveal the space-time continuum. Oh look at this, a moment. If you went to that game last night, you were spoiled rotten. You probably got to see the goal of the night and the save of the night. If Kadri scores that goal or Bernier makes that save in NHL 14, that's a controller through the screen moment. And they both happen for real in real life got me heated turned up as they say so the Leafs get outshot 42 to 26 but they still come away with those two magical moments and two magical points with the win but those moments don't make those numbers not a reality you like advanced stats why don't you watch the game I like advanced stats because I watch the game stats like that make moments like that more special question for you guys did any of you watch the Jets Hawks game the other day I like the Chicago Blackhawks but was anybody who's not a Hawks fan watching that game and going, go Hawks. I wanted Al Montoya and his standing on his head self to overcome and win. Because who doesn't like an underdog? Why cheer for Goliath? That's boring. The odds being against a team makes the moment more special when they overcome them. And that is all I have to say about that. A few questions of the game. One, is that the best save of the Leaf season? There were a few. Bernier's save on Arcabello much earlier in the season comes to mind. I think it was Arcabello. Two, Nazem Kadri turning it on. Three, what's up with Joffrey Lupul? Something... Um, I don't know. I'm not liking it. And I want to take a little more time with this one. The Tampa Bay Lightning legitimate contender in the East. The Lightning are only behind the Penguins and Bruins in the East right now. And if the playoffs started tomorrow, the Leafs would be playing them in the first round. This team was doing great before Stamkos got hurt and they continued to do great without him. Once he comes back, could this be the team that comes out of the East? I've said for a while, I thought they were all right if they just got some goaltending. Sure enough, Ben Bishop looks like a Vesna candidate, and they're sick. That's it for this one. I am starting to lose my voice. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you liked this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell your friends, parents, and grandparents about this, and I will see you next game when the Leafs face the Florida Panthers. Bye-bye now.